Grace Patricia Kelly November 12, 1929 September 14, 1982 was an American actress who, after starring in several significant films in the early to mid 1950s, became Princess of Monaco by marrying Prince Rainier Roman III in April 1956. Kelly was born into a prominent Catholic family in Philadelphia. After graduating from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1949, Kelly began appearing in New York City theatrical productions and television broadcasts. She gained stardom from her performance in John Ford's adventure romance Magamba 1953, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in the drama The Country Girl 1954. Other notable works include The Western High Noon 1952, the romantic comedy High Society 1956, and three consecutive Alfred Hitchcock suspense thrillers, Dial M for Murder 1954, Rear Window 1954, and To Catch a Thief 1955. Kelly retired from acting at age 26 to marry Rainier and began her duties as Princess of Monaco. The couple had three children, Princess Caroline, Prince Albert, and Princess Stephanie. Her charity work focused on young children and the arts. In 1964, she established the Princess Grace Foundation to support local artisans. Her Organization for Children's Rights, Amade Mondial, gained consultative status within UNICEF and UNESCO. Grace's final film contribution was to the documentary The Children of Theatre Street 1977 directed by Robert Dornhelm, where she served as the narrator. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature. Kelly died at the age of 52 at Monaco Hospital on September 14, 1982, from injuries sustained in a car crash the previous day. She is listed 13th among the American Film Institute's 25 Greatest Female Stars of Classical Hollywood Cinema. Her son, Prince Albert, helped establish the Princess Grace Awards in 1984 to recognize emerging performers in film, theater, and dance. Early Life and Family Kelly was born on November 12, 1929, at Hahnemann University Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to an affluent and influential family. Her father, John B. Kelly S.R., was born to Irish immigrants and won three Olympic gold medals for sculling. He also owned a successful brickwork contracting company that was well known on the East Coast. As Democratic nominee in the 1935 election for mayor of Philadelphia, he lost by the closest margin in the city's history. In later years he served on the Fairmont Park Commission and, during World War Roman II, was appointed by President Roosevelt as National Director of Physical Fitness. His brother Walter C. Kelly was a vaudeville star, who also made films for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer and Paramount Pictures, and another name George was a Pulitzer Prize-winning dramatist, screenwriter, and director. Kelly's mother, Margaret Major, was of German ancestry. Margaret had taught physical education at the University of Pennsylvania and had been the first woman to coach women's athletics at Penn. She also modeled for a time in her youth. After marrying John B. Kelly in 1924, Margaret focused on being a homemaker until all her children were of school age, following which she began actively participating in various civic organizations. Patrilineally, Margaret descended from Prof. Johann Christian von Major 1741-1821 from Ludwigsburg, who worked as a political scientist, jurist and theologian, and was elected five times rector of the University of Tübingen. Through him, Grace has descended from Stauffenberg family and many other minor German noble families, such as von Pleningen, von Munchingen, von O, von Bettendorf, von Nippenberg, von Roth, etc. Kelly had two older siblings, Margaret and John Jr. and a younger sister, Elizabeth. The children were raised in the Catholic faith. Kelly grew up in a small, close-knit Catholic community. She was baptized and received her elementary education in the parish of St. Bridget's in East Falls. Founded in 1853 by St. John Newman, the fourth bishop of Philadelphia, St. Bridget's was a relatively young parish with families very familiar with one another. While attending Ravenhill Academy, a Catholic girls' school, Kelly modeled fashions at local charity events with her mother and sisters. In 1942, at the age of 12, she played the lead in Don't Feed the Animals, a play produced by the Old Academy Players also in East Falls. In May 1947, she graduated from Stevens School, a private institution in nearby Chestnut Hill, where she participated in drama and dance programs. Her graduation yearbook listed her favorite actress as Ingrid Bergman and her favorite actor as Joseph Kahn. Written in the Stevens Prophecy section was, Miss Grace Pete. Kelly a famous star of stage and screen. Owing to her low mathematics scores, 
Kelly was rejected by Bennington College in July 1947. Despite her parents' initial disapproval, Kelly decided to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. Her father was particularly displeased with her decision, as he viewed acting as a slim cut above Streetwalker at the time. In 1947, Kelly signed with the Walter Thornton model agency gracing the covers of magazines. Kelly dated and was engaged to Ola Cassini after his divorce from Jean Tierney. 1951-1953, Early Films and Breakthrough Kelly was performing at Colorado's Elite Theater when producer Stanley Kramer offered her role co-starring opposite Cooper in Fred Zinnemann's High Noon 1952, a western filmed in Columbia, California. She accepted the role, and the film was shot in the late summer and early fall of 1951 over a 28-day shooting schedule in hot weather conditions. She was cast as a young Quaker bride to Gary Cooper's stoic Marshall and wore a suitably demure vaguely Victorian dress. High Noon garnered four Academy Awards, and has since been ranked by some reviewers among the best films of all time. Biographer H. Holland stated, Miss Kelly's acting did not excite the critics, or live up to her own expectations. Some critics scoffed at the conclusion of the film in which Cooper's character has to be saved by Kelly's. One critic argued that her pacifist character, killing a man who is about to shoot her husband, was cold and abstract. Alfred Hitchcock described her performance as rather mousy, and stated that it lacked animation. He said that it was only in her later films that she really blossomed and showed her quality. After filming High Noon, Kelly returned to New York City and took private acting lessons, wanting to be taken seriously as an actress. She performed in a few dramas in the theater and in TV serials. She appeared in several television plays and screen tested for the film Taxi in the spring of 1952. Director John Ford noticed Kelly in the screen test and his studio flew her out to Los Angeles to audition in September 1952. Ford said that Kelly showed breeding, quality, and class. She was given the role, along with a seven-year contract at the relatively low salary of $850 a week equivalent to $8,674 in 2021. Kelly signed the deal under two conditions, first, that one out of every two years, she had time off to work in the theater, and second, that she'd be able to live in New York City at her residence in Manhattan House, at 208. 66 TH Street, now a landmark. In November 1952, Kelly and the cast arrived in Nairobi to begin the production of the film Magambo, replacing Jean Tierney, who dropped out at the last minute due to personal issues. Kelly later told Hollywood columnist Hedda Hopper, Magambo had three things that interested me, John Ford, Clark Gable, and a trip to Africa, with expenses paid. If Magambo had been made in Arizona, I wouldn't have done it. Kelly played Linda Nordley, a contemplative English wife with a romantic interest in Clark Gable's character. Filming took place over the course of three months. The costumes were designed by Helen Rose. A break in the filming schedule afforded her and Magambo co-star Ava Gardner a visit to Rome. The film was released in 1953 and had a successful run at the box office. Kelly won a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress and received her first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her performance. Marriage Kelly headed the U.S. Delegation at the Cannes Film Festival in April 1955. While there, she was invited to participate in a photo session with Prince Rainier Roman III, the sovereign of the Principality of Monaco, at the Prince's Palace of Monaco. After a series of delays and complications, she met him at the palace on May 6, 1955. After a year-long courtship described as containing a good deal of rational appraisal on both sides, they married on April 19, 1956. The Napoleonic Code of Monaco and the laws of the Catholic Church necessitated two ceremonies, civil and religious. The 16-minute civil ceremony took place in the palace throne room of Monaco on April 18, 1956, and a reception later in the day was attended by 3,000 Mongask citizens. The 142 official titles that she acquired in the Union counterparts of her husband's were formally recited. The church ceremony took place the following day at Monaco's St. Nicholas Cathedral, presided over by Bishop Gilles Bart. The wedding was estimated to have been watched by over 30 million viewers on television and was described by biographer Robert Lacey in 2010 as the first modern event to generate media overkill. Her wedding dress, designed by MGM Helen Rose, was worked on for six weeks by three dozen dressmakers. The couple left that night for their seven-week Mediterranean honeymoon cruise on the prince's yacht. Princess of Monaco Princess Grace gave birth to the couple's first child, Princess Caroline, on January 23, 1957. Their next child and the heir to the throne, Prince Albert, was born on March 14, 1958. 
Their youngest, Princess Stephanie, was born on February 1, 1965. During her marriage, Grace demurred from continuing her acting career. Instead, she performed her daily duties as princess and became involved in philanthropic work. As princess consort, she became the president of the Red Cross of Monaco with her sister Peggy Davis and sister-in-law Princess Antoinette as the vice presidents and the patron of Rainbow Coalition Children, an orphanage which was run by former dancer Josephine Baker. She hosted an annual Christmas celebration with presents for orphan children in Monaco. The princess also served as president of the Garden Club of Monaco and president of the organizing committee of the International Arts Foundation. Grace retained her link to America by her dual U, S, and Mongask citizenship. Grace and her husband visited Ireland on three occasions, and in 1976 she purchased her family's ancestral homestead in Drimerla, near Newport, County Mayo. Grace founded Amade Mondial, a Monaco-based, non-profit organization which is recognized by the UN after she witnessed the plight of Vietnamese children in 1963. According to UNESCO's website, AMA promotes and protects the moral and physical integrity and the spiritual well-being of children throughout the world without distinction of race, nationality or religion, and in a spirit of complete political independence. The organization currently has cooperative branches across Europe, Asia, South America, and Africa. They retain consultative status with UNICEF, UNESCO, and UN. Economic and Social Council, alongside participative status with the Council of Europe. Princess Grace was active in improving the arts institutions of Monaco, forming the Princess Grace Foundation in 1964 to support local artisans. In 1965, she accepted the invitation to be an honorary member of La Leche League, a worldwide mother-to-mother -mother support group which focuses on mothering through breastfeeding. She was a speaker at their 1971 conference in Chicago, addressing 1,400 mothers, 1,600 fathers and babies. Grace was a known advocate of breastfeeding and successfully fed her three children. In 1975, Grace helped found the Princess Grace Academy, the resident school of the Monte Carlo Ballet. She later advocated to preserve the Belle Epoque era architecture of the Principality. Grace hosted a yearly American Week in Monaco, where guests would play baseball and eat ice cream. The palace also celebrated American Thanksgiving annually. Alfred Hitchcock offered Princess Grace the lead in his film Marnie in 1962. She was eager, but public outcry in Monaco against her involvement in a film where she would play a kleptomaniac made her reconsider and ultimately reject the project. Director Herbert Ross tried to interest her in a part in his film The Turning Point 1977, but Rainier dismissed the idea. Later that year, she returned to the arts in a series of poetry readings on stage and narration of the documentary The Children of Theatre Street. She also narrated ABC made for television film The Poppy is Also a Flower 1966. Grace joined the board of the 20 THC Fox Film Corporation in 1976, becoming one of its first female members. In 1980, she published My Book of Flowers with Gwen Robbins, detailing her sense of floral aesthetics, symbolism, and flower pressing. Grace and Rainier worked together on a 33-minute independent film titled Rearranged in 1979, which received interest from ABC TV executives in 1982 after its premiere in Monaco, on the condition that it be extended to an hour. Before more scenes could be shot, Grace died and the film was never released, nor was it publicly shown again. In the early 1980s, Grace collaborated with Spring May Company, the now-defunct bed linen brand. The collaboration was titled GPK after the initials of her maiden name and features bed linens, tablecloths, napkins, placemats, and others. Both collaborated after Neil Mandel, a newly hired Spring Maid stylist, found the designs Grace made in a People magazine article on the exhibition in a Paris gallery. Princess Grace received more than $1 million in royalties, which she donated to her favorite charities. Death On September 13, 1982, Grace suffered a mild cerebral hemorrhage while driving back to Monaco from her country home in Rock Angel. As a result, she lost control of her 1971 Rover P6 3500 and drove off the steep, winding road and down the 120-foot 37M mountainside. Her teenage daughter Stephanie, who was in the passenger seat, tried but failed to regain control of the car. The princess was taken to the Monaco Hospital later named the Princess Grace Hospital Center with injuries to the brain and thorax and a fractured femur. She died the following night at 10, 55 p.m. After Rainier decided to turn off her life support, Stephanie suffered a light concussion and a hairline fracture of a cervical vertebra and was unable to attend her mother's funeral. Princess Grace's funeral was held at the Cathedral of Our Lady Immaculate in Monacoville on September 18, 1982. After a requiem mass, 
she was buried in the Grimaldi family vault. Over 400 people attended, including Cary Grant, Nancy Reagan, Danielle Mediran, Empress Farah of Iran, and Diana, Princess of Wales. Rainier, who did not remarry, was buried alongside her after his death in 2005. Legacy I would like to be remembered as someone who accomplished useful deeds and who was a kind and loving person. I would like to leave the memory of a human being with the correct attitude and who did her best to help others. Kelly left a lasting legacy as a theater artist, television actress, and iconic Hollywood film star. Kelly has been cited as one of the classic Hitchcock blondes and as one of the most elegant women in cinematic and world history. One author describes her as the elegant glamour girl of the screen. In 1999, Kelly was listed by Joan McIver as one of 30 Irish American women who changed our world. In a 2019 edition of the American Journal of Irish Studies, she was described as Irish America's poster girl and an understated Irish American icon. Catherine Boyle of the Washington Post claimed that Kelly had dramatic effects on views of Irish Catholic immigrants in the 1950s. Indeed, America seemed to pardon her tainted blood, tuning into her televised nuptial mass in droves despite aversion to the religious spectacle. Kelly appeared on the cover of the January 31, 1955, issue of the weekly magazine Time. The magazine hailed her as the top movie star who brought about a startling change from the run of smoky film sirens and bumptious cuties. She was described as the girl in white gloves because she wore prim and noticeable white gloves, and journalists often called her the lady or Miss Kelly for this reason. In appreciation of her work with Hitchcock in three of his films, Kelly later wrote a foreword to the book The Art of Alfred Hitchcock by Donald Spoto. Spoto also has written High Society, The Life of Grace Kelly, a biography published 25 years after her death. In 1982, the Princess Grace Foundation USA was established by her husband to continue the work she had done anonymously during her lifetime, assisting emerging theater, dance and film artists in America. Incorporated in 1982, PGF USA is headquartered in New York and is a tax-exempt, not-for-profit, publicly supported organization. The Princess Grace Awards, a program of the Princess Grace Foundation USA, has awarded nearly 800 artists at more than 100 institutions in the U.S. With more than $15 million to date, the foundation also says it holds the exclusive rights and facilitates the licensing of her name and likeness throughout the world. Her daughter, Princess Caroline, took over as president for both the foundation and Amade Mondial after her death, with Prince Albert as vice president. The original Monaco branch of her foundation, named Foundation Princess Grace, remains active and continues to provide direct aid to students and children within the Monaco and France regions. In 1955, Kelly was photographed by Howell Conant in Jamaica. He photographed her without makeup in a naturalistic setting, a departure from the traditional portrayal of actresses. The resulting photographs were published in Collier's, with a celebrated photo of her rising from the water with wet hair making the cover. Following Grace's marriage, Conant was the unofficial photographer to the House of Grimaldi and extensively photographed her, Rainier, and their three children. In 1992, Conant published Grace, a book of photographs that he took during her 26-year tenure as Princess of Monaco. Princess Grace has been depicted by many pop artists, including Andy Warhol and James Gill. Warhol made a portrait of her for the Institute of Contemporary Art, Philadelphia as a limited edition silk screen in 1984. In 2012, Grace's child at home was made a Pennsylvania historic landmark, an historical marker was placed on the site. The house, located at 3901 Henry Avenue in the East Falls section of Philadelphia, was built by her father John B. Kelly S.R. In 1929, Grace lived in the house until 1950, and Prince Rainier Roman III proposed to her there in 1955. The Kelly family sold the property in 1974. Prince Albert of Monaco purchased the property, speculating that the home would be used either as museum space or as offices for the Princess Grace Foundation. In 